Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with algebraic expressions. We have x squared divided by x to the fourth plus x squared plus one equals a. And we're going to evaluate or find x cubed over x to the sixth plus x cubed plus one in terms of a. So our expression is going to be in terms of a. I wanted to make that clear. And I'll be presenting two methods. But before we get into those, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, with most of these problems, as with most problems, you know, I input this interval from alpha. So this was my input, x squared over x to the fourth plus x squared plus one is equal to a, and then find x cubed over x to the sixth plus x cubed plus one in terms of a. I guess that's clear, right? And what do you think we're going to get from here as an answer? Solutions, no. That's not what we're looking for. And obviously, well, from alpha is unable to solve this problem. I don't understand why when I say this, people are offended or get so defensive like, oh, why are you doing this? That? Yes, sometimes the prompt may not be very clear. It could be amb ambiguous. But it, in this case, I think it's pretty clear and Wolfram Alpha cannot solve it. And that's perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about it. So let's see how we can solve this problem as human beings, right? So we have an algebraic expression x squared over x to the fourth plus x squared plus one equals a. By the way, don't take it too seriously, guys. Come on, this is just AI. It's just a computer program. Now, this is given and we're supposed to evaluate something similar to this with the, you know, sixth and third powers. Now, when you look at a problem like this, the first thing I'm thinking about is coming up with a quadratic equation. This can be turned into a quadratic by doing some substitution. Let's go ahead and set x squared equal to y and then we get y divided by y squared plus y plus 1 equals a and don't ask why i forgot to say that joke let's go ahead and cross multiply a y squared plus a y plus a equals y i'm going to bring this y over here notice that my equation is going to be quadratic in y so it's going to be a minus 1 is going to be the coefficient of y here, plus a is going to be my constant. So is a constant, y is a variable, this is quadratic in y. And we can definitely solve this using the quadratic formula, can't we? Let's do it. So y from here is going to be negative b, which is the opposite of a minus 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac. a a is going to give me a squared, right, obviously, and that's divided by 2a. Let's go ahead and simplify this. 1 minus a plus minus the square root of, we're going to get a squared minus 2a minus 4a squared. So that's going to give me negative 3a squared minus 2a plus 1, right? So a squared minus 4a squared can be simplified, and all of that is divided by 2a. So this is y, and we set x squared equal to y. So this is x squared. So to find x, you should take square roots, right? So if you go ahead and take the square roots, there's going to be two square roots with the plus minus signs, but this also has a plus minus sign. So that's probably going to generate four values, two times two, right? So we can kind of take one of these, just the positive, positive one. And one of these values, you can call it x sub one if you want, is going to look like this. The square root of one minus a plus the square root of negative three a squared minus two a plus one all over 2a and the square root of that whole thing. This is my x value, at least one of the x values. And I'm supposed to evaluate uh, this expression, x cubed over x to the sixth plus x to the third plus one. Now, if I only had even powers, I could get away with x squared, but I also need x cubed. So one thing I can do, which you probably won't do, is take this expression and cube it, and then square it to get the sixth power, and then substitute, and if you don't make any mistakes, hopefully you'll get the answer. Give it a try and let me know how that goes, because I'm just going to skip over to the second method. But if you do it, as you know, this is going to take a lot of effort and time, and chances are you're going to make a mistake. Okay, let me know how that goes in the comment section down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, and if you do know of a third way to do it, please let us know, as always. So second method. We have x squared divided by x to the fourth 
plus x squared plus 1 equals a. I might just come up with a third method too. Anyways, let's finish this first. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and flip both sides because that's going to allow me to separate this. So flip, flip. Now we can go ahead and split it up into three pieces. x squared plus 1 plus 1 over x squared equals 1 over a. Awesome. And then by subtracting 1 from both sides, we're able to get x squared plus 1 over x squared in terms of a. Nice. And I could even make a common denominator and write it this way. Now, this is cool, but I want to look at my expression first. What am I trying to evaluate, right? It's x to the third plus, oops, sorry, before the flip, it's different. x cubed over x to the sixth plus x cubed plus 1. Since I'm trying to find this, let's go ahead and set it equal to t, and our goal is to solve for t. Now, let's go ahead and flip this again, x to the 6, just like before, right? That's going to be 1 over t, and then we can separate, this is going to be x to the 3rd plus 1 plus 1 over x cubed equals 1 over t, and now from here, x cubed plus 1 plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 1 over t. But here's the thing. Since you're looking for t, it wouldn't make sense to isolate the sum of cubes, but maybe you should just solve for t. What is t from here? t is just going to be the reciprocal of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 1. So if you're able to evaluate this, then finding t wouldn't be hard, right? Cool. Let's go ahead and work on this then. How can I find x cubed plus 1 over x cubed from here? What do I know? I know x squared plus 1 over x squared. Nice. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take x squared plus 1 over x squared, which is 1 minus a over a. Remember, we made a common denominator. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to write this as x plus 1 over x squared minus 2ab, which is minus 2, because in the middle, two terms cancel each other out. They're reciprocals. Is 1 minus a over a. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, right? And then when I add 2, that's just going to be 1 plus a over a. So this is 1 plus a over a. And let's just take one of the roots, which is the positive one. Just take the square root and use the positive square root. And that's going to be x plus 1 over x. Now, why did I find x plus 1 over x? Because I do need x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So what I'm going to do now is take this and cube both sides. Make sense? So let's go ahead and clear this area. And then we're going to go ahead and take this expression and cube it and just work with that. Okay, cool. Now we have this x plus 1 over x equals square root of 1 plus a over a. And then I'm going to go ahead and cube both sides. And then I can get rid of this too. I don't need that anymore. Now let's go ahead and cube the left hand side. It's going to give me x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x plus 1 over x. And then the right hand side is just going to be 1 plus a over a times the square root of 1 plus a over a. By the way, I just used an identity like if you have square root of z cubed, it's just z root z. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, this should be the result, but what is x plus 1 over x? Again, I know what it is. It's the square root of 1 plus a over a. So from here, this is what I'm looking for. And that should equal 1 plus a over a times the square root of 1 plus a over a minus 3 times the square root of 1 plus a over a. This is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Let's go ahead and clean this area one more time because I need room and I don't want to go to the white pages because, you know, I, I like the dark background and I hope that's easy on your eyes too. I know a lot of people express that. Anyways, uh, so... We have this expression, we can go ahead and plug it in, and from here t is going to be, which is something, what I, what I, th which is what I'm looking for, by the way, is going to be 1 plus a over a times the square root of 1 plus a over a minus 3 times the square root of 1 plus a over a plus 1, and then that will be my answer. And <laughs> how nice, right? In terms of a. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.